Hey friends, welcome to the part 31. Parts 29 and 30 are in the members area. Cloud kernel members can access it. The way this channel is structured is you need to go through the free content. You need to go through the paid content together. The chances of clearing the certification becomes very high. If you have not yet subscribed, please do so. There are so many people who have taken advantage of the concepts explained on this channel. They have cleared AWS certifications. Azure certifications, Google Cloud certifications, and so on. Please visit the parts 29 and 30, which is in the cloud kernel area. Let's look at this question now. See, this blue box is an ALB. What is ALB? ALB is a load balancer. Behind the ALB, there are usually EC2 instances, and ALB is just like your team lead. It decides where the work needs to be routed. Is it to developer 1, EC2 1, is it to EC2 instance 2, or developer 2, and so on. Now, what has happened? You as a developer, you, you are saying that, okay, I have a non-peak hour. For example, uh, for example, if you, you have maintaining a US-based application in India, uh, afternoon hours, you, you are saying these are non-peak hours. For example, 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. non-peak hours. There, there, my friend, there you are seeing unexpected load. That means something is suspicious and what you have to do as a developer you want to analyze patterns for what for client ip addresses that use the application you want to see which are those ips who are accessing this application and causing an unexpected load so the question says which http header should the developer use for this analysis this is a beautiful documentation which will tell you everything about http headers if you see here x forwarded headers there are x forwarded for x forwarded proto and x forwarded port so what did we see we saw that we we have proto we have for we have port but we don't have host so this is wrong okay now let us see between a c and d which one would be our answer if you go for port port is saying that it will help you identify the destination port that the client used destination port do you want a destination port no you want client ip address so so port is wrong proto proto means protocol protocol like what http https these are protocols so proto will tell you the protocol do you want the protocol no boss you want the client ip so proto is also wrong we are left with four headers this helps you identify the IP address of a client when you use HTTP or HTTPS load balancer. So the final answer would be for header. Now let us look at this next question now. See this blue box is an application and the green box is your social media providers. It can be Facebook, Twitter, anything. And then there is a DynamoDB database which is a NoSQL high performance database. What they are saying is you you know uh, it is a security stuff they want uh, you to create an application that supports saml authentication see i'll tell you one thumb rule always remember that whenever you see any interaction with social media you should opt for cognito okay so the answer has to be between b and c so in this case app sync is wrong see app sync you know when you are using graphql your DynamoDB is not a GraphQL. It is a NoSQL database. It is not a GraphQL database. So just a quick check: which AWS database is a Graph supports GraphQL? AWS Neptune. Just a knowledge tidbit. So AppSync is wrong. Lambda Edge, edge is also wrong here because why would we use Lambda for authentication? This is a authentication stuff. Lambda is used for a light data messaging some sort of serverless compute and so on see with user pool you can you know you as a user can sign in to your web or mobile app through cognito it is for users okay but what you need is see it is saying your users can sign through social identity identifiers like google facebook and etc through saml identity providers so you need identity pools and not user pools you first have to set up your identity pool so identity pool will provide uh, temporary credentials for guests and users 
who have been authenticated and received the token so this is something which we will have to set it up so this would be my final answer so let us look at the next one by the way parts 29 and 30 we have uploaded for cloud kernel members uh, please click the link in the description or there is a join button below this video and become a member that will give you access to those parts see i'll give you a beautiful scenario you are accessing amazon.com you have put something in the bucket in the shopping cart and now you have not completed the transaction it is still in the shopping cart you come after three days you come after five days it will still be there in the shopping cart that is what the question is saying it has to be for there in the for the extended period plus you know there are promotional sales and etc so there can be significant load on the website also so you want a solution okay the solution is simple see this data the shopping cart data you have to store somewhere so that it is highly performant it can be accessed even when the loads are very high on amazon.com for example the second thing you have to do is this should be stored such that it is retrievable for a long period of time so now the options say that i will store it on rds database okay and then it is saying we will cache the database object see rds uh, is it is not very fast for first thing the second thing is you you want serverless your application is serverless okay so rds is not serverless and the third thing is the load on application will vary so the application must scale automatically rds will not scale automatically you will have to you know do something about scale ups now b says that you store the data in ec2 instances using load balancers and use sticky sessions see ec2 instance where man you got to put it in a database will you put it in a file and put it in ec2 instance the solution is so incomplete I mean, easy to what you are going to put it in elastic block store what the solution is incomplete c says hey boss since b was incomplete i'll give you something put it on s3 buckets and cache the database objects using cloud front okay and that will help you storing it for a longer period of time but uh, I'll tell you this will not be fast okay this is not a cloud front use case cloud front we use when we are on a global scale the question did not talk anything about global it is not saying it is an international or global website it did not say that so i would not choose c see thumb rule time thumb rule time thumb rule time whenever you see such things where you want to store the shopping cart and etc you always have to put it on DynamoDB database and DAX is the cache of DynamoDB so that will make it very fast man even if the loads are very high DynamoDB can handle it you know what applications like Uber they use DynamoDB similar databases like DynamoDB and whatever you like you book a transaction you book a cab and so on everything is stored there so that is so fast you know it is meant I always say DynamoDB is a database on steroids. It is meant for low latency, high performance. Low latency, high performance. So this would be my answer. DynamoDB will any day perform 100 times faster than option C. By the way, friends, if you have not yet subscribed, please do so. So many people have cleared certifications. Help me grow this channel. Parts 29 and 30 have been uploaded for Cloud Kernel members for a very small premium. You can become a member and gain access to all of those questions. The free content as well as the paid content together will increase your chances of clearing the certification. Please focus on the concepts. Stay tuned, stay focused. See you in the next part.